Moroccan authorities highlighted the urgency of the National Desalination Project after several years of severe drought. Despite recent heavy rains, North African countries' reservoirs were filled to just 27% of total capacity. Water desalination investments are underway. The project has been delayed for years due to challenges like connecting different basins and increasing the storage capacity of some dams. It's a great and exceptional effort. We are working under the pressure of water scarcity. Larbi Dhabi is a farmer in the town of Romani in Morocco. He says the depletion of water resources has impacted the region's grain production capacity and reduced its agricultural produce. The only remaining well I'm using to irrigate crops, fruit trees and vegetables is almost empty. Water is available for less than five minutes per day while it used to be flowing for three hours. The low water level and drought threaten agriculture. Many farmers also believe the water crisis would not be solved by building more desalination plants. They argue the cost of desalination remains high to allow Morocco to consider it as a source of irrigation water. Seawater desalination is a good strategy, but it cannot solve all our problems. The cost is too high. Providing drinking water will be a top priority at the expense of agriculture. Steady, moderate rain is the real long-term solution. Moroccan agriculture represents around 10% of GDP and uses around 84% of available water resources. Therefore, any deficiency in water supply impacts economic growth rates. A crisis in agriculture affects Morocco's capacity to create jobs because the agricultural sector employs more than 35% of the workforce in the country. Experts assert that climate change is expected to exacerbate water scarcity challenges across all sectors of Morocco's economy, but especially agriculture. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN.